Hi, I'm Nate from Cooler Master, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install a Sidon 240M into our new N-Series chassis. Here's our N200 chassis. It supports Mini ITX and Micro ATX. Today I'm gonna to be installing a Micro ATX motherboard, a Sidon 240M into the front here, and our v new V1000 power supply. I've removed the side panel, and in order to get the 240 millimeter radiator in front, we're gonna to have to make a couple adjustments. So I'm gonna move this fan to the top. I'm gonna to remove this three and a half inch drive bay, and I'm gonna shift this drive bay over to the next set. So to start that, I'm gonna flip it on the side, and move the drive bay first. Okay, so as you can see, I just removed the screws and I'm installing it about an inch over from where it was previously. So it's not a big jump, but it's enough to get the radiator into the front. As you can see, moving this over has given us more room in the front. You don't need to move it if you're gonna install a radiator because you can fit a fan in the middle and then sandwich the radiator against it with another fan if you wanna do push-pull, but this really gives you a lot more clearance. So right now I'm going to remove this and uh, take this fan and put it on the top, but first I need to remove this front panel. So these are the two screws you need to take out to remove that front drive bay. I'm gonna take them out. And it just slides off. And remove these four screws to get the fan off. Okay, so once you've removed the fan from the front, I'm gonna install it in top and exhaust. You can tell it's exhaust by the way the fans are shaped. So it's gonna go right there. Okay, so I'm gonna install the rear I.O. plate, the motherboard, and I'm gonna drop in the power supply, and then we'll get back to installing the side. So now I'm gonna install the 240 millimeter radiator into the front here, remove these two brackets, and install the AMD pump bracket. And I'll be using the sound dampener slash vibration to help prevent any kind of vibration between the fan and the front of the case. So I've lined up the fans and the screw holes with the ones on the radiator, and I'm just gonna go around and tighten them all up. So that's the last screw to get the radiator all plugged in. And from there we'll move on to the actual pump. I'm gonna remove these four screws and then attach the bracket back. So I'm just gonna apply some thermal compound right here just to give it a little bit of heat transference ability. And then I'm gonna install the pump. So I just put the back plate on, as you can see. Now I'm gonna actually screw the pump onto that bracket. Okay, once you have the pump installed, just connect the pump to your CPU fan header. And then I'm gonna install the PSU right here and then connect all the other fan headers so that everything runs. Okay, so I'm using these Molex to four pin connectors because I didn't want to bother with attaching the board. Um, so I'm just gonna plug them in it's attached to the power supply, and then just kind of put the cables down. And from this point, we just have to attach uh, the power button and turn it on and everything will run. Okay, so you can see I've installed the front I.O. power button. I'm gonna click on the power supply and push the power button. Everything turns on. You can see the light showing the side is running. So there you have the install of the Sidon 240M into the N200 chassis. Like us on Facebook and subscribe to our subreddit.